Hi folks, it's Greg here with another how-to uh, video and for this one uh, we're talking about how to add pages and, and blog posts on your website and with me today is our resident uh, Divi and web expert and digital marketing specialist Sam Buckley. Good morning Sam. Hi there Greg, how are you? Good thanks. I just wanted to take uh, our viewers through the process we go through to add content to uh, a website. So. Um, we use a system called Divi, which is a theme over the top of WordPress. Am I right there? Yeah, that's right. Yep, it's a um, it's a theme that you use to build all your pages and your posts in, and it's a really easy to use templated builder that makes it simple to use, but still can be complicated if you're not familiar with with building websites. But it's a it's a it's a really fantastic theme to use to to build things really successfully and make them look really good. Well, let's, let's have a look at the screen. We'll just use our website, one of our websites, for, for the time being. So the process we go through, let's say we want to add a page. So we've logged into the back of the website. Um, so you can see here we can go to the dashboard if we want. We're on the site now, and you can see this editing bar at the top here. Um, so let's say, for example, we wanted to add a new page. Let's say it's a specials page, for example. So we just go to new at the top and go to page. And that, add, that opens up uh, a new tab. You can open it up in a new tab. Let's say, for example, we want to call it uh, specials. So we just call that specials. And am I right here, Sam? We just uh, save the draft? Uh, yes, you can do that. Yep. So we save the draft. And then we want to use the Divi Builder. Um, and the Divi Builder allows us to build the page on the front end rather than knowing all of the code and all of those tricks. So we just go use the Divi Builder. And the beautiful part of that, Greg, is that you can actually see what it's going to look like as you're building it. So that makes it really easy to... Yeah, to exactly. Out. So it's kind of what you see is what you get, yeah? That's the one, yep. Okay, so we've got to wait for this to load. And we're going to build from scratch, or we could, we could copy another page, couldn't we? Start with another page. We could. Um... Uh, let's start from scratch. There we go, start building. So that then gives you the options of what you, you want the um, page to look like. And uh, in the back end, so Greg, yep, so you can, um, the option is to build in the back end with the Divi Builder or the front end. The front end is where you'll see it all to look. What okay, so to get to we, we want to build on the front end, yeah? Yep. Okay, so that, so that we can see exactly what we're getting. That's it. And start building. So we choose, let's choose one, a single column. Uh, you can have as many columns as you like, but let's, for simplicity's sake, choose a single column. And we want to take an image to the top of the page. So we open up the uh, image editor, and you can choose from your existing media library, or you can upload files. So we're just, for the sake of the argument, we're just going to choose from uh, an existing image in the library. Make sure that it has alt text here for SEO purposes, a description of what the image is about, and we can upload that image. Now, we want it centered in the middle of the page, so what we do is go to Design and Alignment, choose the center, and Save. So there you go, there's the image at the top of your page. Now, you want to add something under that image. Let's say you want to add some text. So you add a new module and just call it text. Add some text and that opens up your text editor. And you can then uh, add content in here. So you paste, you just paste your text into there. And again, you want that, uh, you want the text to be about 1.8 M's across there. And there you go. Now you can actually change the uh, width of that um, that box. How do we do that, um, Sam? Um, well, there's a couple of different ways. But if you go into the design tab at the top there, so yep. the design tab is where you do all of your your look changes and the content ones where you put your content in. So any design changes under the design tab, um, yep. you can go down to spacing. Yep. And you can add padding or you can add margins. So um, if you add margins, say you've got a colour inside that text box, it would move that in 
along with the text. But if you're padding in, it just pops it over. So do I want to put um, so put it in here want, and here? So you want left and right. For, for this example, we'll just use the margin one. Um, margin, yep, left and right. Yep, so just pop in, say. How much? Measured in pixels. So let's just go for, uh, say, 75 pixels. 75 on both sides. Yep, so it's even and centered. 75, you can choose whatever, whatever you like that to be. Okay. And let's say then you wanted to add another picture at the bottom. You simply go to Add Module. Where is it? There it is. Add Module, and we choose another image. Or we might even want to put a form in there, um, or Sam. A button. Sorry? A, or a button. Or a it, button, yep. Could be, this, you could be building a, a specials page where you want to click a button to go to buy now. Yep. So you put a button there with some text on it and then it can link through to a page where they can actually pay for it. Yep. So let's say uh, buy now is your button. And the link takes them to an order form, yeah? An order page. Yes. Yeah, so you could it, put your button link in here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it opens up in a new page or a new tab. And we go there. Now we can actually center that. And we go alignment to there. And it centers it. That's the one. Okay. So that you can add as much content in here as you like. Um, you can add as many pictures as you like just by adding a new module. Um, and I might just mention too, like if you want some single row stuff like we've just added in and then say underneath that you wanted to put two pictures side by side, you can add another row underneath that that is a two column row and change the layout from there on. With the okay, so we add another row and we add two modules in here and we want to add an image in there into that module. So we just choose another image, might be that one there. Uh, and upload that image. So it might be a, like you might want to put a page with some before and after photos of hair color, hair coloring that's been done, for example. Yeah. So, you could so that one. might be the before photo, and this one might be the after photo. So we add another image in there. Uh, choose another image, like that one there. And there then you go. Like you can go into the design tab in the edit there and you can align them so they're centered. And it's well. really easy to change that image. You just pick it up again and go like that. And we make that smaller and we add that in and we can center it That's there. It. And we can go back in and center this one in the design tab. Center that. And if, say, you've decided that you put them the wrong way around and you really like the left photo on the right and the right photo on the left, you can just drag and drop them as well. Uh -huh. So you hover over the, get the four-headed arrow grip and just click and hold and drag it over to the other side. You'll see that grey line pops up and that shows you where it's going to drop it. So if you just let the mouse go, then it pops yep. in there. And then you can, and do, you can do that with that as well. So it's really easy to navigate and move around that way. It's yep. great like that. Now, big thing here is don't forget to save. So this purple button down the bottom here. Is your best friend. <laughs> is your best friend, absolutely. So you click on that and you save the draft. Now, there's a couple of other things you want to do when you've, uh, when you've saved the draft. You want to go back into the page and do a couple of other tricky things. Edit the page. So you go back to edit. And when that dashboard opens up, a couple of things you need to do down here. First of all, you need to uh, decide where that's going to appear in your navigation. Uh, but you want to add some uh, tags. Where are the tags? Might be down lower. I haven't got tags. There we go. Oh, um, no, it's a featured. You don't image. need to worry about a featured image. It's only for blog posts. Now, what you want to do is edit the snippet. This is the bit that appears uh, in a Google search. When Google throws up uh, a snippet about this page, that's what people will see if they're Googling. 
So you want to actually make sure that that text says something about what your specials are. So you can actually... Sorry? Sorry, Greg, I thought you were done. I was going to say you want to write something there that's going to elicit people to want to find out more about that page. Absolutely. So uh, this is our specials page where you can get fantastic deals or whatever you want to say in there. And that's what appears in the uh, Google search. So that's essentially it. And then you can decide to um, save the draft or publish the page. Now, at the moment, we're not going to publish the page, but we are going to save the draft. And then it will show you, uh, tell you what a preview looks like. So you can go and preview that page once it's saved. That's always a good idea to do that. So we can just go in here and it will open up in a new tab. And there we go. That's exactly how that page looks, obviously not finished, but uh, gives you a good idea of how quickly you can, you can uh, put together content for your website using this Divi front end builder. Um, and it makes, it makes it so easy because you don't need to know anything about coding. Have I missed anything there, Sam? Um, not that I can think of. So the benefit of that, if you've had your website built by us because we use that Divi theme or if you've had your website built by Divi, it's easy, for example, if you want to put up, regularly change your salon specials, then you can easily do that. Um, and so that's a really good good benefit of the Divi theme. You can quite easily change your specials around or um, swap some photos out for different seasons on the website or whatever you'd like to do to keep your website looking fresh. Fantastic. All right. Hope that's been useful. If you need any help with that, uh, don't forget to comment below or uh, get in touch with us. Uh, more than happy to walk you through that process. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks, Sam. No worries. Bye, everyone.